everyone, this is Rosalia speaking. I promised myself I would show my YouTube channel more love this year, hence here I am with a new tutorial. Today's tutorial is a yummy recipe I grew up with but which I haven't eaten in years and last fall um, during Halloween, seeing uh, all those pumpkins around the house, I remember that as a child I used to eat this delicious sweet pumpkin pie, therefore I um, asked my mom for the recipe. It's uh, easy to make, uh, it takes around a half an hour to make the pastry and another half an hour to bake it. I took advantage of the fact that uh, I visited my parents for Christmas in Romania and I asked my mom to prepare it directly herself. We used the traditional ingredients, white flour, sugar cane, as it was quite an improvised and last minute shooting, but I'll post you the healthy recipe, which I used also here in Italy and which came out as uh, tasty and delicious. First of all, depending on the type of pumpkin we have at hand, we have to cut it open. Then we need to peel away its skin and to cut the pumpkin into large wedges. Pay attention as it is pretty difficult to make this operation safely. This is why I asked my dad to do it for us. Otherwise, there are supermarkets that sell the pumpkins already peeled off, which is the most handy solution. At this point, we need to grate the pumpkin, another tricky operation for the safety of our fingers. Otherwise, you may use a kitchen mixer like I used to do, just for a few seconds, good enough to chop the pumpkin into small pieces. Now it's time to prepare the pastry. My mom did it the old way, by hand, but if you have a food processor, you may use that as well. Pour the water, the vegetable oil, the salt and some flour in a medium bowl and begin stirring with a fork to combine. Beware that not all flours are suitable to make this pastry. I've tried using whole wheat flour and it was a total disaster. Stir continuously while keeping on adding flour. Remember to also add the baking soda. Keep stirring and adding flour. Once it becomes solid enough, you will need to start kneading the dough, adding flour from time to time until the mixture forms a smooth dough that's moist enough to hold together when pressed between your fingers. After some good minutes of kneading, you'll feel like you've done some workout. Don't overwork the dough or add too much flour or it will become tough. But the fun is not over. At this point, I divide the dough to make two balls. My mom does four balls, as you can see, as we've done a four-person's recipe. Now, on a clean work surface area in your kitchen, dust it with some flour so that um, the pastry dough is not sticky and start working it with a rolling pin which you may as well dust with some flour. Roll pastry firmly, always rolling it away from you. Continue dusting it with flour and continue rolling out, frequently turning the pastry so it is not always rolled in the same direction as it may cause shrinkage. Place the rolling pin at the far end and the pastry and flip it over the rolling pin making attention to avoid wrinkles. Roll the pastry to an even thickness and when you notice it is thin enough, start working it with your hands as we will need to make it as thin as possible without breaking it. Once we have our thin, light pastry sheet, pour a few drops of oil and spread them all around your sheet with a pastry brush. Fill it 
it with your pumpkin filling. My mom adds the filling ingredients directly on the pastry sheet, I prefer to prepare the mixture beforehand. Once you're done, start rolling the two extremes over your pastry sheet and close the two external sides to avoid the filling to come out during the baking process. It looks quite funny, like a sausage, doesn't it? <laughs> Once you have filled all of your pastry sheets, you may place them on the baking pan on which you previously poured some oil drops to avoid the pastry to stick to the baking pan. Once it is baked, wait for it to cool down before starting to divide it into small pieces. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks mom and dad for being a part of this tutorial. Well, if you follow me on Instagram, then you probably already saw the pictures I posted of the pumpkin pie I made myself. I hope you'll give it a try. It may seem a little bit difficult at the beginning, but remember, it's all about exercising. And believe me, if I could do it, you can do it too. Now, let me know if you enjoyed the video with the comments in the comments area down below and with a big thumb up. Share the video with your friends and subscribe for more videos. Have a wonderful day, I'll uh, see you next week and remember to smile, your smile may change somebody's day. Love you!